today we'll be looking at my top 5 decks that is a must have for any card collector. They are by far some of the finest and highest quality cards on the market today. Some of these cards you probably wouldn't have ever even seen, let alone even knew they existed. Just like you guys heard in the intro, we're doing a top five best playing cards for any card collector. They can be used for magic and cardistry, but I highly recommend these for any card collector out there and must have. So please smash that like button, subscribe and comment down below if you're new here. And guys, I've left a link down below for where you can get 15% off all these cards and you can also also, get 15% off the entire site at Byworthy. I've left a link down below. 15% off by using this code, TOP5. This code right here. Check them out. Let's get right into it. Coming in at number five, we have the Pro Vision Playing Cards by Theory11. On the front of the tuck, it just says, Quality Manufactured manufactured in the United States at the bottom also saying trademark registered trade registered mark having these snakes with a sword going through them having a crown which looks like the crown jewels stick here having the theory 11 trademarks in both corners a nice little gold looking thing going down a line with a nice orange background with the colors also blending a very nice looking tuck case and it also is embossed. In small writing at the very top here, I'm not sure if you, the camera can pick that up, but it also says warranted to be the finest on the market. One side says playing cards designed by true hands. The other side says Playing cards produced by Theory 11 with a sword going through the words. And the bottom again just has premium playing cards, Theory 11, made in USA, reg trademark. And then around in circles again having trademark and then Theory 11 logo at the very, very bottom. The top of the tuck has a beautiful tongue seal, uh, tongue flap, sorry, and has a tuck seal which says Pro Vision Theory 11 logo, Theory 11 again, USA in 2019, which was when the cards were released. And also, it has something else underneath the underneath the tongue on the on the on the top, but I can't read it for the seal is there. I'm guessing it says. Pro Vision playing cards because it says Pro and then cards at the end so I'm guessing that's what it says and then in each corner it says H-O-N-O-R and the other corner saying M-E-R-I-T which I'm not sure what that actually even means maybe it's a word maybe it's something that's on the cards and on the tongue flap, it just said manufactured to be the finest on the market once again. And on the inside, on the tongue flap and lid, it just says Theory 11 repeatedly over and over. And that's pretty much everything I can say about the tuck. Let's look at the cards. First of all, let's talk about the back design. On the back design, it has a nice thin white border going all the way around. These nice little looking uh, patterns going back and forth. A snake on both sides, making it a two-way back design. The 311 trademark in the center, having Pro Vision playing cards top and bottom. The deck also has a bunch of small writing down here. I'm actually not sure what they mean. I'm pretty sure this one is just explaining where they're made in small writing and telling them their trademark. That's pretty much everything I can say about the back design. Let's look at the cards. 
With this deck, you will receive two Jokers, one saying Joker in both corner and the other one saying also Joker in both corner, having a guillotine and the Joker, which looks like he's about to get his head chopped up. Chopped off, not chopped up. Chopped up. Chopped. Chopped up. Very nice Jokers, red and black, which is very detailed. With this deck, you will receive a double backer, which looks like a green sort of grey-ish on the other side as another deck, which there is only one deck for this, a V1. Maybe that's going to be a V2, I'm not sure, but that's a double facer. Uh, not a double backer, actually, that's a um, coloured double backer. Then it comes with an ad card, which is saying the Snake Theory 11 logo, Pro Vision playing cards produced by Theory 11, then having their site down below as well as Theory 11 at the top again. The Ace of Spades looks like this, very uh, interesting design, having the snake and a guy like holding the spade pip as well as 311 again having their logo. Uh, to a, a saying also it says two in each corner, so it's like a double two, two and two, which could actually make a pretty nice fan. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty cool. Um, let's try it that way. So yeah, all custom pips, all custom face cards, these are the spades, the face cards look like this, very old fashioned, like back to the 1700s, maybe even earlier, queen of spades, queen of clubs, uh, king of clubs, uh, king of spades, sorry, uh, ace of diamonds, and yes, all the aces have a special thing on them, it's not just the one ace of spades as normal. Jack of Diamonds, that, these are very interesting face cards. Queen of Diamonds, King of Diamonds, that's a Duchess looks like. King of Clubs, having the Crown Jewels. Bird Cage, and a Duster, maybe it's the Queen that likes to do the chores. Oh, that's a cool Jack of Clubs. Another Ace of Clubs. Another King there. Queen, last face card, oh wow, look at that gun and the smoke going up. And ooh, ooh, that's, I think I've seen that on uh, Theory 11's, I've just dropped the card. The Ace of Hearts, which has two sponge balls, which makes a heart, which looks very cool. I'm not sure if it's meant to be a sponge ball, just a heart and the fingers making it look like two balls, but it looks like two magic sponge balls, so that's really cool design. And that is number five. Coming at number four, we have premium quality, the Hollywood Reservalent. Reservalent? Reservalent. I don't know how you pronounce that, but these are the front of the tuck. Same playing cards, having spades, hearts, clubs, and diamonds. And a nice little boom on the front of the tuck, made in USA, and the other side saying Hollywood CA, California, maybe that stands for, not sure, um, saying again the Theory 11 Classic, which has on every single Theory 11 deck, it will have this on it, which is their ad copy and their brand, saying uh, the uh, Hollywood, and again, just repeating the same words, Hollywood Ruse. Reservalent, 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 Reservalent. Not sure you pronounce that. Please tell me down below if I'm saying that right. And I'm guessing the back of the tuck is what the design looks like. This is what the tongue seal looks like. Very interesting looking. And if you look here, you'll see that's the inside. As you know, a lot of Theory 11 decks, if you've been buying their decks for a while, if you've been looking at their decks for a while, a lot of their decks are always embossed and they always have something very nice in the inside of the tuck. That is pretty much everything I can tell and see and show you about the tuck. Let's look at the cards. Wow, these feel amazing. The back design looks like this, having a nice thin white border going all the way around, which looks like actually a movie tape going all the way around, you know, those old-fashioned movie tapes. Um, again, having HR, which is standing for Hollywood, that word, <laughs> still don't know how you pronounce that, a nice circle and a very classic, but interesting, but not too simple, but not too um, hard to see the back design. Very sort of simple. I'd call it a simple back design. And it, yes, it is a two-way back design. With this deck, you will receive two 
two ad cards. The first card saying Theory 11 produce the world's finest playing cards, the perfect gift and an amazing piece of art. The playing cards designed by Theory 11 ultimate high end luxury playing cards, Theory11.com. That is just an ad card with a cool logo in the middle. And then again, just having what the front of the tuck looks like. That could actually be a gaff card, I'm not sure, but that's actually kind of a cool looking card. With this deck, you will receive two duplicate jokers, which has a palm tree and the sun in the middle. Nice border going all the way around, saying 7,000 Hollywood BLVD, BLVD, and it's saying top and bottom and joker in both corner, and that's pretty much everything I can say about the jokers. It's cool, kind of cool how it has the surf. Wow, that looks really nice. The Ace of Spades looks like this, having a palm tree and the bright little boop, like the stars, looking like a nice little sun, which looks in the background. The Ace of Spades also having the Hollywood Roosevelt. Roosevelt. You know, I'm going to be editing this video and be like, that's what that word is. You sound like a retarded person right now. Um, anyway, the spades looks like this. And again, these are all custom numbered cards, custom face cards. So nothing original here. Wow. That's a really cool ace of spades. A butler. Oh, it's an ace of spades. Jack of spades. My bad. We have queen of spades. Co cocktail. And he's holding a wine glass. Again, all the ace of diamonds as most of Theory 11 decks have is, again, a very unique Ace of Diamonds, not just a blank Ace. Jack of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds, King of Diamonds. Has he got like a rose in his pocket? Ooh, see his sleeves are rolled up. This is getting serious, guys. Jackets off. Ace of Clubs. And Ace of Hearts, and that is pretty much everything I can show you about these cards. Let's have an awesome quick look at number three, shall we, guys? Coming at number three, we have the Dota playing cards. This is series two, meaning there is two decks. Well, yeah, of course, obviously there's two decks if it's series two, you know, put one and one together. Um, Say at the bottom, collectible playing cards. As I said, this video is for collectibles. Um, you can use some of these decks actually for cardists and magicians. I just personally like these as my top five card collecting decks. So the front of the tuck looks just like so, butterfly and a spider. Sword in the middle, having a nice big club around it. The side of the tuck has no writing, just amazing looking artwork. And the other side looks like this. Bottom has a barcode on it, very ugly looking barcode. And the ad copy, I'll leave it there if you want to pause it. The video and the back design, well, the back of the tuck is just the back design of the cards. The top is just Dota 2. Dot Art 2, and no embossing, and no inside of the tuck, except for the tongue flap, the two leaves there. That is pretty much everything I can say about the cards. Oh, wait, hang on. One more thing, my bad. Saying, ooh. Hang on, I had to show you this, guys. It says, fans for fan. no, fans by fans. That's pretty funny. And on the tongue flap, it says created by Scott Wade. The back of the design looks like this, having a nice thin white border going all the way around, which looks like a nice sort of tree, but slash sort of rose bush squiggliness. And yes, it is a two-way design. Having a logo here and here, two dots in the corner, making a very beautiful design when you fan. Let me just see that when you carve it. Oh, wow, I like that. Very nice back design. Let's look at the cards, shall we? With this deck, you will receive a double backer as, I'm not sure why, I wouldn't really use it for magic or cardistry, but you also get the Dota 2, Dota 2 for fans by fans, stream workshop, and then their logo down below, which is a very nice looking ad card.
Now you're probably wondering now, Jesse, why is this in your top three? Well, let me explain actually. First of all, the two jokers that it comes with are not identical. The face card and jokers are very detailed and I absolutely love them. That's why it's coming in my top three. The first joker looks like this, very detailed. Second joker is, I have no idea, it's like a witch on a stick. It's just amazing artwork. Really like those jokers. Woo! These cards are very smooth, like biter almost. Just a lot less sloppier. Saying playing cards, saying again his name, Scott Wade, Series 2, Dota 2. That's the Ace of Spades looking very nice and smart. And yes, every single card, every, this is a fully custom deck of cards. The Spade Pips look like this, numbered faces and all that. Squally Wagon, whatever you want to call it. That is a very cool face card. Jack of Spades, amazing. Queen of Spades. King of Spades. Look, look how awesome that looks. And yes, these cards, all the aces are also very special customized. That's a cool looking axe or a sword. Oh, there's like an eye. See the eye? That's pretty creepy how it's an eye and the diamond. I got the eye of the tie. Yeah, yeah, we'll just skip that. Um, wow, is that like a hammerhead? It did that. Hammerhead Jack of Diamonds. That's really cool. He's got a little goatee there too. Queen of Diamonds. King of Diamonds. <sighs> These are really cool cards. Wow. The artwork is insane. Oh, fire. Fire Nation. Avatar style. Ace of Spades. Woohoo. And that is pretty much everything I can show you about the cards. Let's look at at number two, shall we? Coming at number four, if you know me, you know I would have to put in a David Blaine deck of cards. These are the Blue Gator backs, and yes, they are embossed. Yes, they are metallic blue on the front of the tuck. Look how beautiful that Gator is, having his daughter on top, saying Gator back, playing cards. The side is extremely hard to pick up in white. But it's basically what every David Blaine Gator Blue deck has on it. I can't really read that properly in this bad lighting. The United States playing card company on one side. And again, saying produced by... Oh, and then it's Mark. Mark Snoozman. You know that guy, Mark Thingo? He does the markings. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> and then saying Gator back, Backs at the top. That's what the back design looks like, and the bottom having split spades and his logo, which is very hard to pick up. Nothing too fancy about the tongue, except for it saying the eight of hearts, reveal eight, and the hearts there. Nothing in the middle, nothing, sorry, nothing fancy about the inside of the tuck. And that's on the tuck tuck flap there is his logo so this is very hard to pick up the um back design it's very interesting so and also guys by the time you're watching this video there's already the um red gator backs that just came out recently and also the rose gold back gator backs and i wonder how many more gator backs are going to come out guys <sighs> Just like every other back design on a Gator back, it's pretty much the same. Nice thin white border, the shininess. Not going to get too much into that for I've already reviewed a Gator back deck on this channel. I'll leave a link down below where you can check that out. And again, having two David Blange. Wow, I love these jokers. It's just a basically a color wave of a new deck. Jokers, that's his daughter, him underwater flapping cards everywhere. Ace of spades, and yes, they come in a stack. Oh, wow, the blue looks amazing. His logo, and that is my number, what's it called? <laughs> number four. Oh, no, sorry, that's my top two deck of collectors playing cards. Let's get into number one. Drum roll please. Woo! 
coming at number one, we have the one, the only, Planet Playing Cards 4th Edition. The front of the tuck. The reason actually why I chose this deck for the first, the best, out of collector's decks is because the face cards are absolutely insane. In fact, they are by far one of my highest ranked face cards I've ever seen. The detail on them are insane. Let's look at these cards. The front of the tuck looks like this. It is all embossed all over, saying the planets Mars. This is fourth deck of an original series. Also saying stellar playing cards produced by Vanda playing cards. And that is the front of the tuck. Oh man, I just love the look of that. I actually first saw these cards and I looked at them and I saw and I was like, yeah, they don't look that amazing. Um, but then they kind of grew on me and then when I saw the face cards, I was like, yeah, I've got to own this deck. Um, the front of the tuck, I'm oh, sorry, the side of the tucks look like this. Vanda Artist Series, Vanda.com cards. This was a Kickstarter project to these cards. Um, and if you get all, I think it's nine or eight, I'm not sure exactly how many decks it is, but if you get all, all of them, the collection shows the planet and it's, they line up like this. And this is the fourth one. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you hold them like that and it shows the planet like this. It looks really cool. Um, you can actually buy the full set from Buyworthy. The Buyworthy, um, I'll leave a link down below actually where you can buy the full set to these cards. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend you go check them out if you've never heard of them. They've got really cool cards. They've got like Judah, Mars, um, Earth, uh, Santa, Sunta, I don't know what you call that planet. But they've basically just got a bunch of planets and it's a really cool deck of cards. The back of the tuck looks like this, which is just the back design of the cards, which we'll get into later. The bottom of the tuck says, let me just focus that. It says, uh, it says, designed by Vindekoda Shako, Sinada Bababa Seko Dara Shudo. That's exactly what it says. Um, the front of the tuck looks like this, saying the planets, and ooh, that'd be a nice Instagram photo actually, just, ooh, let's just, ooh, 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 yeah, okay. Um, and the inside of the tuck is stars, which is pretty damn cool. Oh, what's that? Hold on, hold on. Ooh, what have we got here? And the inside of the tuck looks like that look at the stars and you've also got planet earth down there if you can see that so that's the inside of the tuck i really like that how it has planet earth down there that's really cool that was weird why did that feel so weird oh it's because i'm always filming on my phone so i never actually show my phone light ah oh, yeah yeah because i'm using my camera now so i never actually use my phone yet that just felt weird, sorry, my bad. Let's get back into the review. Um, if you have been subscribed to me for a while, you would have known I had, it was all right quality, it wasn't the highest quality, but um, I used to film on my phone. Now I don't, that's why you can see the quality much better, you know. Um, and the tongue flap just says the planets with a little spaceship. And then tongue flap thing goes here. Just say nothing, just little uh, spaceships. And that's pretty much everything I can say about the tuck. Let's look at the cards. Ooh, baby. These feel, wow, these feel good. Got a bit of a one-handed style there. Woohoo, those are good. Okay, the back design looks like this. Um, it is, oh, that's an interesting back design. Having planet Earth, which looks like, yeah, planet Earth in the middle. Maybe it's, no, yeah, that's planet Earth. It's on the moon. Having planet Earth in the middle, two spaceships, this loopy thing, a nice little triangle, a thin, thick-ish, between thin and thick, white border going all the way around. Nice red patterns all throughout the back. Um, and yes, it is a two-way back design. And I think this represents... 
it's either a switch, um, yeah, I think it's a switch because you have these little flame thingos at the top, but I'm pretty sure that represents the, uh, female and male, but I don't think that's what that means on this deck, you know how you have, like, males that, that way, and then the females, you know how, do you know what I mean? Please tell me someone down below if you know what I mean, how the male has, like, you know, male and female, how they do it for, like, a, okay, yeah, I don't know, um, but anyway, I think that's not, I don't think that means male or female on this cards, because why would you put male or female on the back design? Anyway, um, that's pretty much everything to the back design. Let's look at the face cards and numbered cards. Wow, that is actually an awesome ad card. So, with this deck, you will receive an ad card with this super cool looking guy saying designed by holding a pencil. So that's okay, let's see if I can pronounce this. Sarada. Sordajan Vindako Kasiko to Shoto to Poho and Um, designed by him, Vandacards.com SRDJ and Anyway, and that's their logo, I'm guessing, artist series. Oh, wait, that actually says something. Radio, that means on the front of the tuck. That's actually a word. And that's their logo, yeah, okay. So that's the one ad card. You also get the space card, it looks like this, having Mars and little loopy things, which actually, I think if you clicked, I might be mistaken, but if you collect all eight decks, you can actually put these together and it becomes one big map of the uh, universe, like the, uh, like Earth. Sorry, I said that wrong. One big map of like space, like the stars and all the planets. I might be mistaken, but I think that's what this card is. Those are the ad cards. Let's look at the jokers. The jokers look like this, and no, they are not identical. You have the sword, like a really cool looking sword. Like not just a sword, it's the sword. Like the the like sort of the Viking style sort of snake awesome looking sword. Um, saying Joker at the top, that's black and that's red. Then you have a guy on a spaceship or a rocket going to space and there's stars around and super detailed sort of looking abs, bicep, ch chest going there. Oh, he's only got a two pack. Not really impressed there. Yeah, got to work out more. Um, yeah, that's the Jokers, guys. And the Ace of Spades looks like this, saying the planets at the top. I'm guessing that's the sun and that's the, oh, maybe that's the moon and that's like the earth. Not sure, and there again is that weird looking male, female sign. Uh, Mars, stellar playing cards at the bottom. Ace of spades, numbered cards, two of spades. It's like the star in the middle. Actually reminds me of the cross, but yeah. First face card, look how awesome that looks. Jack of spades, queen of spades, king of spades. Look how detailed these look. So yeah, they're all custom faces and custom pips and everything. Jack of Diamonds looks super awesome. It's like Gladiator sort of Viking style. And by the way, all um, all uh, de every deck is completely customized. So for example, it's not just a, a, a blue um, blue Jupiter deck with a same back design and same face cards. All the face cards are completely different to the other decks. So it's not like an Orbit deck with all the same face cards. Sorry, Orbit decks actually have different face cards, my bad. It's not like a Fontaine deck, how they just have a different back design and all cut same standard faces. These are all different faces on all eight of the decks. King of Clubs, Queen, oh, that's, a, that's an ugly girl, I'm joking. Um, Jack clubs. Yeah, well, guys can be queens too, right? I might be a guy, you know. You, it might be a girl, you know. Pff, shouldn't, you know, assume it's sex. Anyway, um, and yeah, that's pretty much the face cards. Wow, Whew, they look pretty cool. What did you think of them? Tell me down below. What did you think about those face cards? Were they cool? Were they weird? Would you buy them? Would you think about buying them? Would you think about looking at them? Would you have them framed on your wall? Would you take pictures and put them on Instagram? Tell me down below. And that is number one deck of cards for my 
five top best decks for any card collector, must own and must have. And that is my top five must have for any card collector out there. I hope you enjoyed my numbers, my number five, four, three, two, and one. Um, I rated these cards just because I love the face cards. Um, I rated them for looks, not really feel, but because it's more card collectors, more um, collectibles, I rated it from more looks than feel. So if the stock was uh, really good, I didn't rate them by that, I rated them by the faces, you know, the, the, uh, the, the smell, the, the, the things that card collectors look in cards. So I hope you enjoyed this video, please smash that subscribe button if you're new here, like this video, subscribe, I already said that, but comment down below, tell me what you thought about my top 5, tell me if you change it, tell me if you change the order of them, tell me what you thought about them, tell me if you buy any of them. Um, also guys, don't forget, if you want to buy any of these cards, I've left a link down below where you can get um, not just these cards, but the entire site for 15% off. 15% off by using TOP5, T-O-P-5, all in capitals and just the, uh, the number 5, not the word, the number 5. So this word right here for 15% off from Byworthy, I've left a link down below. Go check them out. Really cool cards, high quality, fast shipping. Um, they've also got a members recommendation thing. If you uh, fill that out, you can also um, like get uh, free, you get these coins. So once you buy it at checkout, you actually get like coins. So you can have, um, let's say, let's say you get 1,000 coins, you'll get free shipping and this and this. So the more you spend actually, the more you save. So Go check them out, link is down below. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. I have really excited stuff coming up. I'm going to give you hints maybe OBC, the, o, the new OBC deck review is coming out. So stay tuned for that. I'm really hyped for it. This channel is really growing fast. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next one.